All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms, and data structures beta. Learn local storage by building a to-do app. Step one. All right. So in this project, we're going to learn how local storage works in JavaScript by building a to-do app. Local storage is a web storage feature of JavaScript that lets us persist data by storing the data as a key value pair. So basically in objects, right? Uh, the HTML and CSS for this project has been provided for us. And we're going to take a look at the files to get ourselves familiarized with them, right? So the CSS is pretty much standard as usual. We've got pretty, just a bunch of classes right here. Um, here we've got some of the uh, IDs. We'll come down here a little further. We've got the media query. We do a little responsiveness to it. But that's pretty much what's going on right there. Uh, and then we've also got the HTML, pardon me, the HTML over here. And it's all standard stuff. Uh, I guess there's this content, content IE edge, IE equals edge. I don't know, maybe that's something for the for edge. I don't use that, so whatever. Uh, and then we've got the SVG, this the uh, scalable vector graphic, I guess. I don't know what that is. I don't know which one is the, the let's see, the close icon. Oh, well, we haven't done it yet. But yeah, so we've got that a scalable vector graphic uh, and then a bunch of divs, a bunch of buttons, a bunch of inputs, stuff like that. All stuff we've covered in the past. All right. So let's get rid of that. Come back up here. So we're going to begin by accessing the task form, confirm, close dialogue and open task form button elements with the get element by D method. We'll save them in variables, task form, confirm, close dialogue and open task form button respectively. Yeah. <laughs> wonder why they forgot it on this one. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Uh, let's start off by saying const. We'll do task form like this. We'll have that equal document dot get element by ID. All right. We'll have the uh, double quotes in here and we'll say that equals task hyphen form like that. Go to the end, cap it off with a semicolon. Let's triple click this thing, copy it, Bring it down one, drop it off. Bring it down another, drop it off. Let's change the second task form to uh, confirm, 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 close dialogue. All right. And then we'll do this third one. We'll call it open task form BTN thus. All right. So we'll change this uh, third one right here. We're going to make that open task form button. So we'll keep. The task form will say open hyphen, ooh, hyphen, oh, hyphen, hyphen, hyphen. Anyway, open task form and then hyphen after form BTN thusly. We'll change task form right here to confirm. We'll do uh, close and then we'll say hyphen dialogue like that. And hopefully this works. Check it. Looks good. And submit it. All right. Now we're on to step two, and we'll see you next time.